In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to job cost system. First question, job cost sheets include each except A, the direct labor costs, B, customer name, C, advertising costs for a job, D, the overhead costs, E, the direct materials costs. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Job cost sheets include each except. Now, what is a job cost sheet? That's going to be the sheets that support the work in process or the finished goods account uh, in terms of the jobs we're working on, kind of like the inventory items that we're working on if we're, if we're manufacturing inventory or the job we're working on if it's a service company. And they typically, if we're making inventory, include the details of the cost of the job. And any inventory we make, remember, has three details. Direct materials. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Labor, direct labor, and overhead. So those are probably going to be on the job sheet. So if we go through these, we're going to say the direct labor costs that's probably on the job sheet. So, so direct labor hot, that's not it because it's on the job sheet. B says customer name, uh, probably, but uh, you know, we'll keep that for now. C says advertising costs for a job. Uh, you know, it's a kind of a cost. We're, it, notice it's saying for a job here, we like we advertise a particular job. So I'll keep that for now. And then D says the overhead costs, and that's going to be on the job cost sheet, we would think. And then E says the direct materials cost. That looks, sounds reasonable. So I think that's on there and that's not it. So because those are our main three, direct materials, labor, uh, direct labor, and overhead. So we're left with B and C. So if we go through this again, job cost sheets include each except B, customer name, or C, advertising costs for a job. Now of the two, I would think that B would be included. We, we need to know you know, who's the customer related to the job because we're going to eventually have to assign that, track that, and bill them. So I think B is, is going to be in the job cost sheet. We're going to have to know that somehow at least. And then C, advertising costs for the job is kind of tricky because they're, they're applying it to the job and not just saying it's general advertisement. But the advertising, whether it be applied to a particular job or not, is not um, part of production, meaning it's not, the job cost sheets are tracking inventory, the cost of inventory. And advertising is a general and administrative cost. It's not part of inventory. So we're not going to include advertising typically in the cost of the inventory because it's not something that converts the raw material to finished goods. It helps us to convert a sale once the inventory has been produced. So the final answer is C. Let's go through the final answer. Job cost sheets include each except C, advertising costs for a job. Next question. Which industry would use a job costing system? A, a general contractor. B, fruit punch production. <laughs> C, yogurt. D, seeds for planting. E, small gardening tools. So let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Which industry would use a job costing system? Now, when we think about this, we're always thinking about this in terms of what the other costing system is, which is a process costing system. And the major differentiation between the two typically will be that the job cost system will have differentiation in inventory, whereas the process cost system will typically be all the same. Therefore, job costs, we track costs by job. Process costs, we track costs by process because of that differentiation in inventory versus sameness in inventory. So if we go through these then, uh, A, a general contractor. Uh, a general contractor uh, possibly has different jobs you know, that they work on. So I would think that might be a job cost system. 
uh, fruit punch. If, if we're mass producing fruit punch, unless it's like some customized pro production of, of fruit punch, I would think would be a process cost because all the end result would probably be all the same. We'd be using to, to maximize production. So probably not that. C, yogurt. Uh, again, I would think the same thing. I would think that we're trying to make all the yogurt the same. And once we get the process down, the system down, we can mass produce it uh, and make it all the same and use a process cost. D, seeds for planting. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit, you know, we might have to do something on it, but, but I would think that all the seeds are pretty much the same. We're gonna try to make a system to make all the seeds the same and gather the seeds and have the same amount of seeds in a certain, you know, basket or whatever. <laughs> And so I would think that would still be a, a process cost and not a, not a job cost. And then E says small gardening tools. And as long as the, if they're small and they're all the same and we're making them or producing them, again, I would think that we would make those all in, in the process cost. So this is one, so I don't think it's that. This is one that didn't use customization. If we saw the word customized something, we make customized something, then that's usually for sure going to be a job cost. This one is a general contractor which by the nature of being a contractor, you know, uh, is typically going to be different. So contracting is a, a little bit different, uh, the way the jobs are tracked, but it, it's a job cost system and all the jobs are typically different. So I think A would be the final answer. Let's go through it one last time. Which industry would use a job costing system? A, a general contractor. Next question. Cost accounting systems are... A, job order costing and perpetual costing. B, job order costing and job hunting system. C, job order costing and specific identification. D, job order costing and process costing. E, job order costing and first in, first out. So let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Cost accounting systems are now all of them have job order costing so i mean this first half is pretty much a given uh, so we don't really even need to read that anymore <laughs> and we're, I, we're really just saying okay what's the second what's the second half here and a says uh perpetual accounting uh we, we may have heard perpetual account i mean that's a thing kind of we've probably heard perpetual system before uh so i'll keep that for now <clears throat> b says job hunting system and, th and that sounds just kind of silly. I, I, don't, I don't job hunting system. I uh, it sounds like it's, uh, you know, something that was made up because they ran out of options or something. So I think that one probably not it. And C says specific identification. Um, we, we, we may have heard specific identification, but that actually has to do with tracking uh, inventory in a merchandising company, typically where we specifically identify the inventory as it goes. So it's actually, that's not going to typically be uh, a, a cost, a typical cost accounting. It's, it's more of a merchandising usually. Uh, D says uh, process costing. Uh, and again, we, we may uh, have that, that, that sounds familiar. So I'll keep that one for now. And E says first in, first out. And again, we probably heard of first in, first out. But it's not, it's not usually a cost accounting system. First in, first out is how we track, again, like specific identification in a, in a merchandising company, typically. It's some kind of cost flow assumption. So I don't think it's going to be first in, first out. So let's go through this again. Cost accounting systems are job costs. And what's the other one? Perpetual costing. Now that's kind of alluding to perpetual versus periodic. Which, which has to do oftentimes again with the merchandise, with a, uh, with a merchandising company has that option. Uh, so it's not going to be that specific identification has to do with typically a, you know, how we're tracking the inventory in a merchandising company. And then of course it's going to be the process costing. So it's a job cost system and a process cost system. Those are the two that we're always contrasting. Uh, when we think of a job cost system or when we think of a job process cost. Whatever, whichever one we're working on, we're often going to be asked questions or thinking about its opposite or it's, it's the other one, comparing and contrasting to the other one. So we're always thinking between job cost, process cost, the difference, of course, being the differentiation typically in inventory and other differences that result from it.